In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the ways to embed video in Microsoft Power Pages site. Now, there are multiple ways to add a videos in Power Pages site. As you see on the right hand side, there are three different options. One is the YouTube, Microsoft Stream, Video URL. So, YouTube is specifically to embed YouTube links within your Power Pages site. Microsoft Stream is about if you have any videos stored in Microsoft Stream then you can embed that and in video url is just a like a mp4 link directly uh, hosted in any of the website now basically in youtube i'll show you some catch on how to uh, embed the correct url and i'll show you multiple options same goes with microsoft stream and video url we can have a direct mp4 link we can have a stream mp4 link uh, and then there are other uh, other ways as well, like using iframe and embed code. Now, both are interchangeable because if you embed a code using embed properties, then technically it uses iframe. And I'll show you with both the example, YouTube uh, embed URL and stream embed URL. So let's jump into the demo. So this is my Power Pages site, as you see over here. Uh, now here what I'm going to do is like I'm going to first create a page. Okay, so let's say YouTube Okay, and I'll say click on blank. Okay, and let me go into the YouTube. So this is my channel So maybe I'll pick up any of the videos. So let me pick up say this one. What is power toys? Okay so let me Stop this video. So this is one of the video in YouTube. Okay, so first thing what you're going to do is like you're going to right click and you can you will copy the video url right so you'll copy the video url and then over here you will go into this control video and then go into youtube okay and try pasting this content okay now the moment you paste it you will see this is not a valid youtube url okay now why because of this url format okay so Technically, you can't do a right click and copy the video URL. Okay, so what are the other options? So if you see in the browser bar, this is the URL which you can see. Now I just do a right click and then I will save it. Okay, and if I click on OK, now it has recognized this. So that means you need to use the browser URL. Okay, now you can't do a right click and then take the copy video URL because it does not have the domain youtube.com. Okay, now copy embed code okay now remember this as well okay now here also when you do a copy embed code let me uh, open the notepad and paste it over here okay now here once you see the embed code here also you will see one youtube url okay let's do one thing let's copy this okay and here, if I add an another control, okay, let me add an another section, okay, and add the video, add the YouTube. Now here, if I paste this and say, okay, now here also I can do the same thing, okay? So if you see, same control, okay? But two different URL. Now this URL I've extracted using the embed code, okay? The embed code, and then I pasted the embed code in my notepad and extracted just the source value. Okay, so there are three different ways, three different URL you get, only two of them works. It should have a youtube.com domain. Okay, now let me uh, do one more thing. Let me create another page and let's say, say stream. Okay, and here we will try to add a stream video. Now, stream is like a Microsoft video service. Now, I've already opened the stream URL. Now, if you don't know how to access stream, uh, maybe you can check using the style bar. And if you see stream, then click on stream and then you will be navigated uh, directed to the stream application. Now, here I have a couple of videos. OK, now there are two formats which I have used WebM and MP4 format. OK, and these are a couple of videos which is already present over here. Now, let me open this video. OK, so this is say one webm video okay and let me open an another video which is i think this is an mp4 video yes this is an mp4 video so mp4 video and stream and webm video and stream okay now 
these are the URLs. So if I copy this URL, okay, let me copy this MP4 URL and then try pasting in stream. Okay, if I click on video here and then in video under Microsoft Stream, if I paste this, okay, and if I click on OK, see what happens. Okay, it it doesn't recognize it. It doesn't recognize this URL. So that means you cannot copy this from here. Okay, then if I click on share and if I click on copy link, okay, now I've copied the link. Okay, so the link has been copied and let me uh remove this okay let me remove this and then add the same control microsoft string and paste this it will say this is not a valid microsoft string url because this is technically a one drive kind of a url and you will not be able to use that okay so that option also fails so sharing the links also fails now let's see another option let's say if you have an embed code here okay now here from the embed code, let me copy the source URL, okay? Let me copy the source URL till embed.aspx unique ID. Let me copy this, okay? And see what happens, okay? Let me copy this. No, this is also not a valid stream URL, okay? Now, the other way to uh, navigate is now stream stores all your files in OneDrive. Okay, so if you go into the OneDrive path, okay, now how to navigate to the OneDrive path is you know, if you uh, if you see the stream uh, video which is uh, in your host environment, you can see the storage location where it is stored. Okay, now if you navigate to the back end, you will see that it is stored in get issue pull documents test for now. Here you get a copy direct link path let's copy this okay now it this is not a valid microsoft stream url now again you can't even copy this as well okay but okay but just hold on for this i'll just show you what will happen so i have just copied it from using the one drive path now this is that direct one drive path now it says that stream is it's not a valid url okay that's fine let me again go back to the design studio and now remove this control and now let me add a video control again but this time i'll not add microsoft stream i'll add video url now if i paste this okay now see here we have added into video url i pasted the stream link okay i click on okay now it will start rendering this okay so using mp4 we have added a stream url link okay now if i again go back here you will see that under video url there is nothing and under microsoft stream url you will find that url but however it says this is not a valid stream url but it still takes the stream url okay so it's kind of a bug i would say within the application but uh, things get done you know so if you have a stream url with a direct mp4 link go here put it in video url and then it will fall back to microsoft stream and then it will render your video so it's a bit of a convoluted way but it works okay so this is how you add a stream url okay now let me add in another page and let me say mp4 okay now we have already seen how to add an mp4 link uh, from stream okay so you go here you go to video you go to video url and then mp4 link now uh this is one example this is like i have just found it from the internet direct mp4 link so this is the video which gets rendered so if you have a direct mp4 link you can copy this url and uh, you can go in video url and then start pasting it okay the moment you do that and you save it this video gets rendered over here right so this is how you can render the uh, direct url link okay from mp4 so so this is about youtube embedding stream embedding mp4 embedding okay now let me show you an another thing uh, called as say iframe okay so i'm creating a new page called as iframe and here uh, let me go to iframe okay and in an iframe url i need embed url okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to youtube 
I'll copy the embed code, okay, which I will paste it here. And then I'll try to copy this link, okay. Now, this is YouTube embed link, okay. So, you just need an embed URL, not the tag. Click on OK, and then you can embed YouTube URL link, okay. Now, let me do the same action, but this time, I will use iframe again and I will go to stream okay now here in stream I will see the embed code now again remember this is the embed code which we copied last time as well okay let's see whether this works or not let me copy till embed dialog dot create okay and I will paste this link okay now as you see over here using stream using the embed link we have added uh, in the iframe and it works okay so this is also one of the way through which you can embed the stream url okay using uh, the iframe okay so so this is how you add an iframe uh, now let me show you another thing uh, so let me, me create a new page and then <clears throat> call it as embed okay now here i will not go through here video link i will just go to edit code i'll click on open vs code and let me go to youtube again copy the embed code which is already here i will copy this okay yeah now here it will open vs code let me close this and here, if I added dev tag, basically, and I need an uh, embed code, basically, right? So let me not just take the URL. Let me copy this entire iframe, OK? Just copy this entire iframe over here and paste this, OK? And control S saving it and here let me sync this now we are going with the code approach we are not going through the UI we have just copied the embed uh, iframe link and uh, and it has rendered and it has rendered as an iframe component okay so this is also one of the way but uh, you need to watch out for the window size and all those things because it is not rendering in full frame. So you can uh, manipulate the HTML. Now, again, one more scenario. If we go into the embed link of, uh, say, stream and copy this and paste it here in an, another div tag. Now, this is the embed link of uh, stream okay and if i save this and if i sync it let's see whether it renders or not yes it do renders so that means there are three different ways to add videos in stream now we have copied the embed code we have copied the embed code as a part of the iframe. We have copied the embed code as a backend source code. Uh, and also we have given the direct MP4 link, which we have added uh, as a control, a video control. And then we have selected a uh, direct link. Okay. So, uh, so we can embed video from stream. We can embed video from YouTube. From stream, it is a bit convoluted. You need to use the right approach. You know, it is not direct. So you need to be a bit patient on that. Uh, however, we can use multiple options. So you can use YouTube, Stream, MP4, iframe, embed. And basically, uh, the tag which you add from the back end is technically an iframe tag. And that's how you uh, embed all the video related content within your Power Pages site. So that's it, folks. This is all about embedding video content within the Microsoft Power Pages site. Thanks for watching.